Hi guys, how you doing? This is uh, Ground Plane TX. Uh, getting back to you while well, I was I was just doing some research here, and doing some research for my next uh, larger scale video, and came across some stuff here about Samuel Robotham on Wikipedia. So I thought, well, I'll just read and see what they've got here. I'm sure they'll be honest about it and link to his book, right? So here we are. Samuel Burley Robotham was an English inventor and writer who wrote Zetetic Astronomy, Earth Not a Globe, under the pseudonym Parallax. His work was based on a decade-long studies of the Earth and was originally published as a 16-page pamphlet, which he later expanded into a 430-page book. So first, you know, as it starts off here, it all sounds fairly, um, fairly good, fairly accurate. According to Robotham's method, he calls Zetetic Astronomy, the Earth is an enclosed plane centered at the North Pole and bounded along its outward edge by a wall of ice with the sun, moon, planets, and stars only a few hundred miles above the surface of the Earth. Okay, so they got the distance off of it a bit there, but they're fairly decent. They haven't torn them to shreds yet. So let's get into his life. Robotham started out as an organizer of an Owenite commune in the Fens, where he first observed the strange phenomenon on the Bedford level that led to his crazy theories about the Earth. Following allegations of sexual misconduct, he reinvented himself as an itinerant lecturer under the name Parallax. So now he's now he's a criminal running around with a, a fake name, a pseudonym. He took a little time to learn his trade, so he's a snake oil salesman now, running away from a lecture in Blackburn when he couldn't explain why the hulls of ships disappeared before their masts when sailing out to sea. However, as he persisted in filling halls by charging sixpence a lecture, his quick-wittedness and debating skills were honed so much that he could counter every argument with ingenuity, wit, and consummate skill. So he's just a trickster now. So when finally pinned down to a challenge in Plymouth in 1864 by allegations that he wouldn't agree to a test, Parallax appeared on Plymouth Ho at the appointed time, witnessed by Richard Proctor, a writer on astronomy and proceeded to the beach where a telescope had been set up. His opponents had claimed that the lantern of the Eddystone Lighthouse, some 14 miles out to sea, would be visible. In fact, only half the lantern was visible, yet Robotham claimed his, oppo his opponents were wrong and that it proved the earth was indeed flat so that many Plymouth folk left the hoe agreeing that some of the most important conclusions of modern astronomy had been seriously invalidated. In 1861, Robotham was married for a second time to the 16-year-old daughter of his laundress and settled in London. So I'll just, I'm just going to stop there. They, they don't go much further. That's it. They don't link to his stuff. I guess they do have it here. A budget of... No, they, they actually link to other people's work about him and the Flat Earth Society. And what they tell you is that he's uh, committing uh, sexual misconduct. In other words, you know what they're saying there. And that, that it, then they said that that the test didn't work, and we've all seen, you know, how far you can see a lighthouse. You can see them out to 150 miles at sea. So, and we've seen, you know, obviously the uh, Chicago skyline from what 60, 60 miles, 60 kilometers. Not to mention they they talk about the Bedford level. They don't mention that that is perfect. It's a perfect proof right there. They, they say that he, when finally pinned down, that he runs away. When they finally pin him down. They get a telescope set up, and that he was wrong. And I'll bet you that he was right on that day as well, but they just can't admit it. Anyways, hilarious. Thought you guys might find that pretty funny. Thanks very much. See you later.